chapter 2, section 2.7, we're going to learn how to identify significant figures present in a number. So remember that significant figures represent all numbers that are certain plus one number that's estimated in a measurement. So the more increments provided on the measuring tool, the more significant figures that are present. So for example, given these four numbers, the black numbers are not significant, while the red numbers are significant. So notice that all the zeros in front, which we call leading zeros, are not significant. So leading zeros are never significant. However, I do want you to know that numbers that are not zero are going to be always significant. So here are your rules. Leading zeros in front are never significant figures. The numbers 1 through 9 are always going to be considered significant figures. All right, we're going to focus on the trailing zeros. Trailing zeros are zeros trailing after the last non-zero number. So these are my trailing zeros. These are my trailing zeros. These are my trailing zeros. It's all the zeros trailing after the last non-zero number are called trailing zeros. So when are they significant and when are they not? Notice that in this example, this example, and this example, the trailing zeros are not significant. There's no decimal present in any of those numbers. That's why the trailing zeros are not significant. However, in 90.0 and 4.00, these are trailing and there's a decimal present. So because they are trailing with a decimal present somewhere, they are going to be considered significant. So trailing zeros with a decimal present are significant. Trailing zeros with no decimal present are not significant. Here, we're looking at 9004 as the significant numbers. Remember, these are trailing with no decimal present, so they're not significant. So why is it that these zeros are going to be considered significant? It's because they're going to, they are sandwiched in between the 9 and the 4. Same thing with this zero, it is sandwiched between the 2 and the 3. So sandwiched zeros are always significant. Remember, they are sandwiched between two non-zero numbers. When given numbers in scientific notation, notice that the numbers that are in red are all in front of the times 10 or the E. So we could describe this as all numbers looking at these examples, these would be zeros that are typically trailing with no decimal place present. So normally these zeros would not be significant. However, notice these zeros are in red. They are significant. So why is that? Well, normally when those zeros would not be significant, if you add a line above a zero, it makes it significant where it wasn't significant before. And then remember, now that this zero is significant, these zeros are sandwiched between two significant figures. So adding a line above a zero will make the zero significant. However, this rule only applies to numbers greater than one. So a line above a zero will make it a significant figure. Don't forget the sandwich rule. So here's a table of all the rules with some examples and these are worded a little bit differently than the notes we just went through. However, they do work just as well. So here are some practice problems. Number one has one, two, three, four, five, six, six significant figures because this zero is trailing with the decimal present. It is significant. This number has two significant figures. These zeros are trailing with no decimal present, so they are not significant. In number three, all of the numbers are significant because sandwich zeros are always significant and trailing zeros with a decimal present are also significant. In number four, we have five significant figures. Leading zeros are never significant. So these are zeros in front of 
the first significant figure or non-zero number. In number five, we have two significant figures. Trailing zeros, no decimal present means it's not significant. In number six, we have three significant figures. That's leading zeros are never significant, and this is a trailing zero with a decimal present, so it is significant. In number four, so number seven, we have four significant figures. These are significant because they are sandwich zeros. Number eight, all numbers are significant. This is a sandwich zero. Number nine, only four of these numbers are significant, and it's because leading zeros are never significant. In number 10, all numbers are significant. That's a trailing zero with a decimal present. In number 11, six significant figures because these are trailing zeros with a decimal present. So all are significant. And number 12, all of these are significant because these are sandwich zeros and this one is trailing with a decimal. Number 13, all of the values are significant. Number 14 has three sig figs. Number 15, all of the values are significant. Number 16, we have only one significant figure. Number 17, we have three significant figures. And number 18, we have six significant figures. In number 19, these are the coefficient of scientific notation, and so those are the only numbers that are significant, the 3.20. In number 20, we have one significant figure. 21, we have three significant figures. This is a sandwich zero, which is significant. These are trailing zeros with no decimal, so they are not significant. In number 20, all four of those values are significant. In 23, in, I'm sorry, that was number 22. Number 23, we have those three significant figures. And in 24, we have two significant figures.